Hello, this is a video showing how to install the multiplayer um, mod for Jack and Daxter Open Goal. Um, this is making it use Steam Remote Play to be able to do it like online. We need to pull a few tricks to, um, to make this happen. So the first thing that you need is you must download the mod launcher from the link in the video description. You must also have a Steam account and you must have downloaded play with gilbert a small tale and have it ready to play so if you see if i click the play button you can see that we have play with gilbert ready to go so once you have all that done um what you want to do is you want to come down here on the mod launcher and you want to select um barg is he's the one who has made the multiplayer and then go to their mods and you want to select local multiplayer beta plus randomizer the name here might change um, but pick something that says multiplayer and you should notice you now have a button that says add to steam now if you click this we're going to try to automatically find your steam but if we can't find it we're going to ask you like hey where do you have steam installed so I'm going to click it because my steam is installed on my E drive. I, it won't automatically find it and I'm going to have to browse to it. So I click add to steam, select steam directory. And then we want to go to E program files and steam. Now this is going to be different for you, depending on where your steam folder is installed. So we go ahead, we select this folder says, do you want to replace Play with Gilbert with the unofficial mod launcher? We say, yes, we do. Do you ever want to play the real Play with Gilbert? Unfortunately, we do not. And so it will remove the Play with Gilbert files to save you some like hard drive space. And it says, mod launcher has been added to Steam, launched by playing Play with Gilbert in Steam. So now, if we try to open up Play with Gilbert, <laughs> It will instead open up the mod launcher. Um, but it's running through Steam. So now we go to Barg and we go to multiplayer and we go to install to install the mod now. Now we just let it do its thing for a little while. If this is the first mod that you are installing, it's gonna ask you to provide an ISO from your game. Uh, we've already done that, so it's not going to ask us. You can see it's just already doing stuff in the background, so we just got to wait for it a little bit. Um, as far as your uh, your friends that you want to play with, to get them set up, the only things that they need is they need Steam installed, and they need to have you added as a friend, and they need to have a controller. They do not need Open Goal. They do not need the mod launcher. You can just invite anybody. It doesn't matter, like on steam you can just invite them and you can play so now um that we're in game you push shift tab to bring up the steam overlay and you just invite whoever you want to play with so go here and we're gonna invite tath who is in vc with us howdy howdy to a remote play together session now, Steam Remote Play might have some issues and all. This isn't supposed to be a Remote Play tutorial. Um, but basically, you can see my controllers are 1 and 2. And when Tath connects, it's 3. You can drag these controllers down here to assign them during in the game. Then hit Shift-Tab to close your uh, Steam overlay. Now, Tath on his end should see the game now. Um, yes, above. And in order to spawn in his jack and to play multiplayer with me, what he needs to do is hold down the left stick and push L3. And while keeping that held down, on the D-pad he has to push up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. That combination will be in the description, but the moment he does that, he is now in the game and we are doing some multiplayer uh, Jack and Daxter. Um... Now, another thing for multiplayer, um, what the player 2 can do is they can push down um, 
L1, R1, L2, and R2, and it will teleport them to the main Jack. This way, in case they get lost off screen, they can then teleport to Jack like this, and then you're good to keep gaming. Um, only player one has control of the camera, and there are some weird little things. If you guys notice anything super weird, let me know in the description, and we can try and fix it. Um, if you also, if a non-main Jack puts in the code again, that is holding down L3 and pushing up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right on the D-pad, it will sign them out. So if he's like, if his food's ready, all he has to do is push those buttons and he can go get his pizza rolls while I continue the game. And when he's ready to come back, all he has to do is input the command and we are good to go. All right. Thank you guys very much, and I hope you enjoy some multiplayer Jack and Baxter. Peace.